Today I want to talk about Brian Gavin Blue. What is blue fluorescence? It's taking the diamond out into sunlight or any exposure to ultraviolet rays. What does it cause? It causes the molecules in the stone to be excited and they begin to fluoresce. Is that good or is that bad? Now let's go ahead and examine what this is and what it's all about. When we first went to the internet in 1999, we sold our stones with blue fluorescence. But to our dismay, all those stones came back to us. They never stuck with the clients. And I couldn't understand why. With further investigation, what I found out was that the internet being a new domain, excuse the pun, customers would take those stones and walk into a jewelry store to verify it. Jewelry stores, of course, were flabbergasted that the online business existed for diamonds and jewelry and engagement rings. So they always cast a negative dispersion on whatever walked through their doors. They had a vested interest. They wanted to capture that sale. But what I found in 1999 was that the, because they had been given a bad rap by the salesperson, not really filling them in correctly. Um, so their immediate supposition was, this is no good, I believe the store, and I'm sending the stone back. To avoid that problem, I stopped selling stones with blue fluorescence. And that was that. Now, I did mention 2008, when, when our financial markets collapsed, and hard assets tended to rise, and diamonds rose by 40%. Well, somebody could afford, let's say, a one and a half carat uh, GVS2, um, couldn't afford that GVS2 anymore because it was now 40% more. Um, so they had to settle either for a lower color or they had to go down in size in order to uh, spend the same kind of money that they could have before 2008. Salaries didn't jump by 40%. So I sat back and I said to myself, you know what? I always sold stones with blue fluorescence. I love stones with blue fluorescence. There's no problem if you examine those stones correctly and make sure that there are no negative transparency effects. So why should I start selling them again? So I decided to brand the name and trademark the word blue, uh, which relates to diamonds. And we launched Brian Gavin Blue. And we've never looked back since. I think we've exposed a type of diamond to the consuming public and they have found that there's nothing wrong with it, specifically when they are cut correctly, specifically where we filtered out stones that are not transparent versus stones that are. There again, you have a Brian Gavin assurance, and because those stones sold for less money, people could start affording the bigger sizes at where they were used to wanting to spend their money. And I think this is a big advantage for a consumer. The gemologically grading labs look at fluorescence in a different manner. GIA, the Gemological Institute of America, will grade fluorescence from the side using UV light. And they will express it as none, faint, strong, very strong. AGS uses the term negligible, which means that there is some trace of fluorescence. According to AGS, all stones will have some amount of fluorescence. Some, of course, a lot more than others. They term it negligible, faint, strong, and very strong. Both labs measure fluorescence, but they just do it differently. There was a large study done by the Gemological Institute of America. And if you wish to read that study, here is the link. What was the result? Basically, the fluorescence, there's nothing wrong with fluorescence and in many instances does not affect the stone. If anything, stones with fluorescence are additive to stones with lower colors, H color downwards. Those stones will appear to be much whiter. Now, the question is why does this happen? Well, a lot of you might remember the sunglasses called blue blockers. The lenses were orange, and I don't remember who the maker was, but you always used to see them advertised on TV. What was the purpose of that? 
the yellow lens was there to filter out the ultraviolet light. And so that, your the one's eyes were protected. Now the reverse happens in a blue fluorescent stone. When the diamond is exposed to UV light, that could be natural sunlight, it could be actually indoors with regular fluorescent tubes because those do uh, emit UV rays. Um, so what happens is that the molecules become excited and they begin to fluoresce. Now, how do we see that? It's very simple. We have what's called a UV light. We will show its effect on, on diamonds shortly for you. Now, fluorescence comes in different forms. That means the more excited the molecules get, the stronger that fluorescence is. Now, one of the big misnomers about fluorescence is that when people see the strength, they think that if there's a very strong blue fluorescence, that immediately is going to cause a transparency effect. False. It's not a true statement at all. The strength of fluorescence is really how excited those molecules in the diamond crystalline structure get. And so they emit a different strength. Now that's not to say that stones that do have fluorescence will affect transparency. But generally what you find that stones that uh, fluoresce and affect the transparency, normally there's clouding within those stones. Those two combinations definitely do affect transparency. Now, something very, very important about a Brian Gavin Blue is that every one of my stones in that range has been tested for its transparency. And you will not find a Brian Gavin Blue that has a milky effect. And that's a big plus for you. What is the effect on lower colors? Basically, the stone that is fluorescing based on the UV light retards the yellow uh, range of the color spectrum, which will allow to emit more white light to the human eye. So I do believe that stones that do fluoresce with the blue color in the lower color ranges, um, one should pay more money for because those stones do face much whiter than they truly are. And that's really one of the big benefits. Due to the fact that the market in general rejects them, as I said before, I don't understand why, especially when the stones are transparent and you couldn't tell the difference between a stone with fluorescence or a stone without fluorescence, why should those stones sell for less money? For you as the consumer, it's a big advantage. Hence, if you look at a Brian Gavin Blue, you're getting a perfectly made stone at a discounted price, which is lucky for you. Now, does blue fluorescence have an effect on higher colors? To a certain extent, yes. It will probably give what we call the overblue effect meaning it tends to look whiter, but it's not really contributing to the actual face value of the stone as we do see it in the lower colors. Here you have a stone of a low color, which is actually an M color. You can see that there is some form of color being absorbed. Of course, it's on a background, so you will notice the color a little bit more if, unless it was on a darker background. But that will give you the idea of what a stone looks like that has strong blue fluorescence. Now, let's expose it to UV light. There you go. And let's see the wonderful effect of, of fluorescence. The question is, is the stone transparent or is it milky? And the honest answer is yes, it's absolutely transparent and it's absolutely beautiful. Does it face to the human eye in the face-up position as a stone of an M color? Definitely not. It probably looks like a JK color to me. Here you see a stone which has no fluorescence and it is a K color. And let's have a look. We put the light on and of course you'll see there's no reaction at all. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to return the M color There we go. And you can see how the difference in the fluorescence. Now I'll remove the light. Now remember the one on the right is an M color. The one on the left is a K color. I'm now going to add to the setup a stone that is G in color, which is white. This stone does have blue fluorescence. And as you note, and you'll see, there we go. And that is medium, not strong. 
Okay, there you can see the stones together. Now I will add another stone to the mix and what I'm going to add is an F color and the F color, this stone will not exhibit any form of fluorescence and I'm going to put it over here so that you guys can see. There you go. And I'm sure you can see it's very difficult based on the camera, even with me looking down at the stones, to distinguish the color in their face up value. And they're all bright. Now placed to the left is a two carat that is an E color with blue fluorescence. And let's have a look at the effect. Quite impressive, isn't it? Well, here you go without, without anything to actually interfere, meaning we're in the dark, we've got nothing else here that will interfere with these stones except the pure UV light. I hope you've learned something from me today. That blue fluorescence does not necessarily mean something negative in a diamond. I think you'll find that it stands equally on a footing with one of my signature stones and that you'll have many years of beautiful enjoyment if you like to have a stone that has that wonderful phenomena of blue fluorescence. Don't be scared to buy one. You'll enjoy it.